and my topic is sexual harassment. Uh, first off, according to the Journal of Public Integrity, they say that 55 million women are working in the U.S. today. Of those, 70% have experienced sexual harassment. Of those 70%, 60% have taken no action to stop it. This here is a pie chart, two pie charts, from the EEOC, it's the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission of the U.S. government, and it shows two dates from 1997 and 2010. Here we have 15,889 charges filed with them for sexual harassment. Of those, 88.4% are women and 11.6% are men. Over here in 2010, we see that 11,717 were filed, the charges were. And it has changed to 83.6% women and 16.4% men. We see that as the time has changed, less women have been filing complaints and more men. This is probably because of, of uh, awareness and men becoming more comfortable with stopping the sexual harassment. Sexual harassment, what is it? This, I'm gonna cover what is it, the different types, and how to respond to it. First off, what is it? It can be verbal, physical, technological, or it can be in your office space. A verbal sexual harassment would be somebody coming to you and making offensive jokes, or they will make comments about the way you look, the way you're dressed. Physical is someone coming up and touching you inappropriately, or pinching, or just any sort of, it doesn't necessarily have to be sexual, but it is inappropriate for the workplace. Technological is any sort of request for a date, or just conversations that are unwanted um, via email or text, and in the office, sexual harassment could be inappropriate music being played, or it could be pictures or posters or different things that would have an offensive joking manner to it or something that is inappropriate sexually for the office. The different types of sexual harassment. According to our um, textbook by Adler and Elmhurst, there's quid pro quo, which is this or that, and a hostile work environment. Quid pro quo means that you have to give something to get something. Oftentimes, a, an employer or somebody that you work with will come up to you and they will request a sexual favor or a date or something of that nature and they will make it seem like you will either lose your job or you may, you may lose a promotion. A hostile work environment, on the other hand, is where they're making your employment space uncomfortable. Whether you be, whether you're being intimidated or just simply uncomfortable, it could be staring, it could be um, uncomfortable gestures that they're making towards you, or they could just be being inappropriate and making like water polar jokes. Now that we know what sexual harassment is, we need to know how to respond to it. First off, you need to commit, consider dismissing the incident. This is because sometimes it could be a misunderstanding, if it's the first expense. Second, you need to tell the harasser to stop. That is usually the most important step, and it is usually the thing that gets the harasser to stop, because they may not be aware that what they're doing is inappropriate. Third, you need to keep notes. If they have not stopped already, then you need to keep track of what they're doing, where they're touching you, what they're saying, so that you know exactly what they've been doing. Fourth, you need to write a personal letter to the harasser. This will help instill what you have told them in person. This will make clear the consequences that can happen and make clear that it is not acceptable in your view. Fifth, you need to ask a trusted third party to intervene. Oftentimes, the harasser does not want to listen to you However, if there's someone else that they trust, and perhaps you trust, then maybe they can get through to this person. Next, you need to use the company channels to eliminate the problem. They have, in many companies, especially these days, they have instilled different 
situations and different steps to follow in case they have sexual harassment. You need to go through these steps and see if that will resolve the issue. Last, you need to file a legal complaint. This is the final step because if they're not stopping, then they're not going to stop and you need to take action. Going with the EEOC, which is the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, they will take, uh, take in your, your complaint and they will research it and find out who's at fault and take action. In conclusion, I have talked about what sexual harassment is, what the different types are, and how to respond to it. 